Here in South Africa, doctors called Sangomas treat millions of people using creature cures. Meet Elliot Inlovu, a Zulu Sangoma from Camberg Village in the mountains of KwaZulu Natal. Elliot doesn't just use herbs and animal body parts arbitrarily. All Sangomas are guided by the spirits of their ancestors. To become a traditional doctor, it's a calling that comes from my ancestors. So I was been called before I come to this world. It is the traditional African belief that most illness is caused by witchcraft or the spirits of displeased ancestors. It is the job of the Sangoma, as a medium between the spirit world and our own, to appease the ancestors or chase away the evil forces causing the ailment. Today, Samson, one of the older members of the community, comes to Elliot for help. He is having problems with pains in his legs. Instead of prescribing painkillers, Elliot must make the medicine himself. Fortunately, he has the key ingredient on hand, a baboon carcass. It is a traditional African belief that animal qualities can be transferred to the patient. The baboon is the strongest animal because even its bones is too strong. To capture the powers of the baboon, a traditional medicine called amuti is made from the skin and tail and mixed with herbs. The limb of the baboon will also be boiled for drinking. These mutis will allow Samson's leg to take on the strength of the baboon and ease his pains. Samson inhales and licks the burning baboon mixture while waiting for the limb to boil. The strength of Samson's belief in the powers of the baboon parts already seems to be having an effect. Sangomas have lifelong experience with medicinal plants and many are expert herbalists. But the patient's belief in the Sangoma and his remedies is an important part of the cure. Dr. Conrad Chiani's office in Mutsi, north of Johannesburg, is a far cry from the rural beginnings of Sangoma. With computers, copying machines, secretaries and assistants, he has brought traditional healing into the 21st century. I feel we are not competing with uh, the modern doctors. I feel in some other instances they are very much superior to us, yet they miss many things out of us. So I, I feel that we can supplement each other. Instead of reaching for a stethoscope to diagnose what's wrong with his patients, Dr. Chiani throws animal bones. Through the bones, Dr. Chiani deciphers the messages sent by the ancestors. This stands for rush in the stomach. Then uh, we normally use a chicken. Dr. Chiani's patient blows air into the chicken. This method may seem unusual, but there is a rationale. It is believed Selby's illness will now be inside the chicken. Dr. Chiani does not claim his methods will hold up to scientific scrutiny. But we don't argue scientific methods. We argue traditionally and ancestrally.